The body must be used to determine its role in a sport. My aim is to develop every individual according to his best potential. Protect him from false ambition, the desire to be someone he never can be, and more important, never should be. William Herbert Shell. Hi, this is your mask trainer. Natural body building for any pocket. And our subject today is the history behind somatotypes. Let's do it. Let's begin by saying somatotype or constitutional psychiatry is a theory developed by William Herbert Sheldon in 1940. This theory correlates body types, human body types, with temperament. Therefore, that's right, bodybuilding and sports just borrowed that theory from psychiatry and psychology. The creator of somatotype and constitutional psychiatry. William Herbert Sheldon Jr. was born in November 19, 1898 to William Herbert Sheldon Sr. and Mary Abby Green living in Pawtucket, Rhode Island at that time. His studies and death. 1915, he graduated from Warwick Veterans Memorial High School. He attended Brown University, getting his BSc degree. He studied at the University of Colorado, getting his MSc master's degree. 1925, he attended the University of Chicago and earned his PhD. 1928, he began researching for his constitutional theories. 1933, he earned his MD at the University of Chicago gaining a two-year fellowship in Europe, studying under Carl Jung, a well-known doctor, psychiatrist, psychologist, and essayist from Switzerland, and meaning and visiting Sigmund Freud and Ernst Kretschmer, being clearly influenced by them to later create his somatotype and constitutional psychology theory on film. 1938, he moved to Harvard. Between 1939 and 1945, during World War II, he served in the Army Medical Corps, gaining the Lieutenant Colonel rank. 1940, he published his researches on somatotypes. 1947 to 1959, he was director of Constitutional Laboratory at the Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons. Between 1948 and 1949, he was also an avid numismatist, authoring two exhaustive catalogs of American sense and developing the Sheldon scale which is still standard among American numismatists. 1951, professor of medicine at the University of Oregon Medical School. 1977, he died of a coronary ailment on September 17, just two months before his 79th birthday in his office at the Biological Humanics Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Somatotypes Theory Beginnings The idea of finding a relationship between body types and psychology types wasn't born from Sheldon. It can be found throughout several authors, countries and cultures before him. Nevertheless, Sheldon's most direct influence can be found 
in his stay in Europe from Ernst Kretschmer, psychiatrist who said around 1920 he found some connections between body composition and temperament. Kretschmer body types, leptosomatic or asthenic, athletic or epileptoid, picnic or cyclothemic, and dysplastic was strongly criticized mainly for these four reasons. One, he used mentally handicapped people for his research and no normal ones. Two, he divided people drastically, totally forgetting about individual differences. Three, he didn't think about the changes age and diet changes brought. Four, he fixed extreme body types, not paying attention to average ones. Sheldon's theory. We can summarize Sheldon's theory by saying, body constitution greatly correlates with temperament. He demonstrated it after years of experimentation from 1928 to 1940 using a rigorous quantitative method, careful observation and examining thousands of subjects in one way or another. He chose three elements corresponding to the three germ layers of embryonic development. Ectoderm that forms skin and nervous system, mesoderm that forms muscles, blood vessels and the heart, and endoderm that becomes guts and intestinal tract. From there, his classifications. Let's see. From endoderm, endomorph or endomorphic, a person who is more influenced from viscera and bowels having a natural tendency to accumulate fat in waist and hips and a big proportion on the structure. From mesoderm, mesomorph or mesomorphic, a person who is more influenced by muscles and heart having a balanced bone and muscle structure and a tendency to be athletic and muscular. From ectoderm, ectomorph or ectomorphic, a person who is more influenced by nervous system, brains and nerves, with a natural tendency to be tall and thin, with a highly developed metabolism, making it difficult to develop muscles and store fat. Besides, this individual's muscles and bones are relatively lighter than the other ones. What we've just seen are three extreme types from the somatotype theory, but we must bear in mind that they are not the most frequent ones in real life, but their combinations with a greater influence from one or another, being in fact more than 80 somatotypes. Well, our next video will be about how to determine our most influenced somatotype and that of our clients, as well as its usefulness in creating an adequate routine, diet, and supplementation following this theory. Have a nice workout. Next, our shout outs. Horacio Molina. Factasa My Polyglot Journey JS Angel Bertolami Lumeltix Deep Stems Francisco Terán Córdoba 20 Full Alfredo Herrera Pérez